Okay, good afternoon. Today we're gonna install VirtualBox. I'll put uh, VirtualBox and Kali. So let me start off by saying I will put both these links inside of the description below so that you've got it. First one we're gonna need is VirtualBox. It's virtualbox.org. You're gonna click on download VirtualBox and then uh, right here you'll see VirtualBox 7.8. You're gonna use Windows for Windows, Mac for Mac, so on and so forth. If I click on Windows, it's gonna start downloading and then you just go through the normal rigmarole that you would always go through, you just install it, right? It should be in your download folder, so on and so forth. Uh, once you've got VirtualBox downloaded, you're gonna download Kali Linux. So you're gonna go to Kali.org, you're gonna go to Get Kali, and then the one we want is Virtual Machines right here, and then you're gonna download VirtualBox, 64-bit should be the norm, and then just hit that button right there, it'll start the download process. And again, I've already done this, so I'm gonna cancel that out. Once we've got everything downloaded, you've got VirtualBox installed on your system, then you're actually going to download it. Now, in your downloads folder, you'll see a folder that looks like this, unconfirmed 352648. It'll say something like that. That's your CaliBox, but it has to be unzipped. Uh, I'm gonna open up mine and show you what I'm talking about. Now, I moved mine over to the D folder I'm just gonna right click on that and then it needs to be unzipped. Now I use a program called 7-Zip for Windows and all you have to do is extract here. Once it's done extracting, you should look at a folder and I move mine over Kali Linux 2023.2 right there and you'll have two folders in there, VDI file and a VirtualBox machine file. Those are the folders or the files that you need. So to start off, we're gonna hit new at the very top you're gonna name it, I'm gonna name mine Kali 2023.2, and I'm gonna call it version B because I've already got it downloaded. Uh, and then you have to decide where you want it. I want mine in my D drive, so I'm actually going to move mine over. I'm gonna put it in the D folder, and then I want mine in the VMs, VM right there. So I'm gonna select that folder, and then ISO image, we're gonna leave that blank. Type, we're gonna to go to Linux, and then we're gonna to go to Debian 64-bit right here, and then we're just gonna press next. Uh, Hardware-wise, you want at least two gigs of RAM, at least one CPU, it doesn't need more than that. I like to put two in there if possible. Hit next, 20 gigabytes is usually not enough memory for Kali Linux in a classroom environment. You need to be about 60 gigs. It's gonna save you some headache uh, down the road. Uh, so I, I recommend if you're doing this for a university, if you're doing it as a major component in your system, do 60 gigs and then hit next and then finish it off. Once it's finished, it'll end up on your system just like this. Now we need to go into settings. So I'm gonna go to settings. Uh, I'm gonna go to advanced and I'm gonna do bi-directional, bi-directional right here. Description doesn't matter. If you wanna put your username and password, that's fine. Uh, so on and so forth, that's good. Then we're gonna go to system. Again, we've got that two gigs of RAM. We wanna drop down to the pointing device, PS2, mouse. Processors, you want at least one. I recommend two if you've got the space available for it. Then we're gonna to go to storage. Now storage is where it comes into play where you have to kind of pinpoint it. See where it says that Kali 2023.2B? We're gonna click on that and we're gonna hit this little disk drive right here and we have to actually find it. So you're gonna choose a disk file, okay? You choose the disk file and then you have to find it. Now mine is already located. So let me find this real quick. Kali Linux version B and then you'll see this VDI file right here. That's the VDI file that you want. That's the unzip folder that you created in there. You're gonna click on that. We're gonna open it. It's gonna replace that. Then we're gonna go down to USB. You can disable this right here and then network. It was originally set on NAT. I'm gonna switch it to NAT network right there and then just press okay, you'll be fine. Press okay and it should start off without a hitch and you should be good to go. Just to make sure that I didn't screw something up, let's go ahead and start it up and go from there. And here we can see that it is up and going.
And when we're logging in for the first time, it's going to be Cali Cali. And we can see that it's operating uh, properly. Now, you may want to go in there. You may want to change your network adapter down to NAT network or host only, depending on what you're trying to do. It's uh, set up as NAT right off the get-go, which is fine until you start adding additional virtual machines in there. We want to kind of keep that all the same. All right, that's it. That's Kali Linux in literally as quick as I can get it.